An average of two women are killed in England and Wales every week as a result of domestic abuse. In 2012-2013, in England and Wales, 75% of female homicide victims knew the principal suspect at the time of the offence. 45% were killed by partner or ex-partner. Domestic violence costs Wales over £303 million each year. This includes the health service, police and criminal justice proceedings costs, lost tax through reduced earnings by victims, increased costs of welfare benefits and lost personal income to victims. Support services for victims and children are vital. Refuges, independent domestic violence advisors, ITVAs, and outreach services save and improve lives every day. And a robust criminal justice system has a crucial role to play in administering justice and protecting current and future victims. However, unless services engage directly with perpetrators, domestic abuse will not stop. Local authorities and their partners are ideally placed to reduce the risk of domestic violence and abuse by carrying out local prevention activities such as offering domestic violence perpetrator programmes, DVPPs. DVPPs are community-based group work programmes which work directly with perpetrators of domestic abuse with the aim of changing their behaviour and stopping further abuse and violence. As well as the services for women and sometimes children, they also provide expert advice to other organisations, write reports for family court proceedings, children's services, CAFCAS, criminal court and child protection conferences. This represents a substantial contribution to informed decision-making by a wide range of agencies that are intervening in domestic abuse. In January 2015, the London Metropolitan University and Durham University published their final report from the independent five-year research project Mirabal. This examined the outcome of men's participation in respects accredited perpetrator programme. This was the first piece of research of its kind and tells us more about the impact DVPPs can have. We've done this extremely careful programme of research and we've asked not just men but also their female partners what changed or not in the course of their involvement. And we interviewed them first before the men went on the programme or just knew when they started and we've followed a 100 to 12 months after they started and for virtually all of those women which I have to say surprised me I didn't expect it to be so clear um, there was no physical or sexual assault at the 12 month point. Amongst other things the research measures safety and perceptions of freedom from violence and abuse for women and children. The research showed some powerful findings sexual violence stopped Use of weapons stopped. Far fewer women reported being physically injured by their partner after the programme. The extent to which children saw and overheard violence dropped substantially. Domestic violence perpetrator programmes do not aim to keep families together or to split families up. They aim to work effectively with perpetrators in order to keep their partners and children safe. The best outcome of a perpetrator's attendance at a DVPP is that all violence and abuse stops and there is no longer a risk to their partner, ex-partner, future partners or children. Domestic abuse is a significant public health problem and a major social welfare issue. People of all ages, from all sectors of society may experience it. The effects of abuse can last for a long time after the relationship ends and impact adults and children in many complex ways, bringing them in repeated contact with public services and costing significant amounts of money to the public purse. Independent research by really well-respected researchers has shown us that when you invest in a domestic violence perpetrator programme that's been quality assured, that's working as part of a coordinated community response, women are safer. Men stop using violence, they stop using sexual violence, they stop using almost all physical violence and they reduce other forms of abuse and women say that they are safer. Investing in crime prevention saves public money and investment in domestic violence perpetrator programmes have shown a significant return on investment. 
For example, a programme in the north of England suggests that for every £1 invested in a DVPP, the return can be up to £10 in savings to the public service. Accredited perpetrator programmes can, at their best, provide much more than a group work programme. Collaboration with social workers, risk and safety management, improved parenting and institutional change are all possible contributions which the best domestic violence perpetrator programmes can, and often do, provide. The Mirabel research provides the first analysis of the impact that DVPPs can have on the prevention of domestic abuse. Regional allocation of the Welsh Government's Domestic Abuse Service Grant in the current Pathfinder region in Gwent requires identification of current local perpetrator provision and a plan to address the identified gaps in provision. As you plan your commissioning activities over the coming years, consider how you will meet this requirement. At local level, we can tackle public service costs and reduce the rate of domestic abuse by working with accredited DVPPs to help prevent further incidents.